Um, so it's my pleasure to start this today first with our first speaker, who is Ehsan Hosseini from EMPA. Please, the floor is okay. yours. Okay, thank you. So I'm a group leader at EMPA, and here I would like to present a work which we are collaborating with ETH. It's all about using physics-informed neural network for simulation of pow laser powder bed fusion process. And this process, to those who might not have known it, is uh, one of metal additive manufacturing processes. With all this technology, we have lots of design freedom, which means that uh, we can manufacture quite complex geometries, hopefully for a good reason. Uh, but there are also challenges, and the challenge which we are interested in is the quality. So within this process, we have so many uh, process parameters which need to be tuned, otherwise the quality of the part will not be satisfying. There either we need to do lots of trial and error or we need to better understand the process. And by understanding, it means simulation of the process is important. So in our group, we do quite different type of simulation for metal additive manufacturing, but the one which I'm going to focus today is about thermal simulation of the process. There we already have a finite element model which works uh, to some extent quite good. So when it comes to experimental validation, we are happy with the, with the validation part, but the problem is for a process which took only us two minutes to, to do it in, in real world, it took us around 16 hours to simulate it. And just please remember that I said we need to do lots of this simulation to understand the sensitivity of this uh, temperature profile to our process parameter. Therefore, uh, there we started to look for help from machine learning algorithm. And uh, naturally, we started with supervised algorithm, which means we did a bunch of those finite element calculations, fit them to a surrogate model or to a neural network. And there we were able to use um, the trained model to predict our temperature profiles. That was fine, but still we had to uh, fight against the challenge of high computational cost for training. Later, we start to use physics informed neural network, and that was um, something quite useful for us. So when we do any type of uh, simulation, we are doing nothing more than solving a PDA for a given initial and boundary condition. So quite natural for mathematicians, the idea of PIN is let's assume we already have the solution for our problem. And how can we assure that solution is correct, what we need to do is to put it into the PDE and also check if it satisfies our initial and boundary condition. So here we assume that the solution is given by a neural network, therefore it's quite easy to take the derivatives we need in, uh, in our partial differential equation. So we put it there, we calculate how much we are violating the, the PDE and also the initial and boundary condition. If we are not happy, we need to keep uh, optimizing our weight and biases. So this is what we have done, and in terms of accuracy, in particular for predicting the steady state behavior of our system, we were quite successful. But the, my last slide is really about the strength of this PIN approach, and that is that we can actually solve our simulation or our PDE for a parametric uh, condition. So now we have a train a neural network which asks for our process parameter or even our material parameter, and it can, without any computational cost, it can predict our temperature profiles. It took us 20 minutes for training, of course, after a master's student spent six months to define the problem and to solve all the challenges, but after this training, now we have a solution which can give us real-time prediction. And that is particularly beneficial when we think of moving toward having a digital twin for our system because there we actually need real-time prediction. So that was all about my talk. Uh, if you have questions, you can just write me an email and I should also acknowledge the financial support of a Swiss National Foundation. Thank you. Thank you very much.